Hello, and welcome to my mod spotlight on my mod, Enhanced Inventories. Um, just gonna jump in, show you what all is in my mod. Okay, to start with, you have the improved stone chest. It is, aha, a chest. Um, I'm going to go over the recipes, the first few things, um, then I'll show you the nuances of them. Um, so, improved chest, improved, uh, chest, stone specifically, um, can be crafted with four cobblestone, four dictionary, and any four wood planks, as long as they are the same plank, and one piece of wool. What wood and wool you use does affect how the chest looks when you pull it out. For instance, oak and blue wool, because you and a blue oak wood. Uh, spruce and lime gives you lime spruce, and ghostwood pink gives you pink ghostwood. Yes, it does have support for some mods in the wood type. If it doesn't have support directly right now, it will default to oak. Because, yeah. Okay, um, chests can be upgraded to have bigger chests. Um, to upgrade a chest, you take a chest with a lower tier and surround it by the material for the most part. So, for instance, to get an iron chest or copper tin, you take a stone chest, surround it with iron for it to get an iron chest, copper to get copper, tin to get tin. I think that's fairly simple. Um, Then, if you want, say, gold chests, which is even bigger, or silver, bronze, or steel, you can take and surround a iron, copper, or tin chest with gold, silver, bronze, or steel, respectively. Uh, diamond, emerald, platinum, and alumite chests are a bit different. They use glass as opposed to full eight pieces of material. That may change in the future. I don't know. Um, just to be consistent. Then, uh, cobalt is diamond level with cobalt or ardite, and vanillium, cobalt or ardite with vanillium. I think that's fairly simple. Um, also, any of these diamond level chests can be upgraded to an obsidian chest. Um, obsidian, cobalt, ardite, and manilla chests are all blast resistant. So, I'll also show you this with the lockers as they work the same way for upgrading. If we were to go over here, and let's just grab these two while we're at it. Let's go all the way over here, lock down some chests, uh, and there. So, got those. Place down a bit of TNT. And oh. as you can see, they did not break. Um. So continuing on, we have lockers. They're chests, just a different style. And uh, as you'll see later, where these are double chests side by side, these are double chests one on top of the other. To craft these, you use a trapdoor instead of wool. Yeah. Okay. Um. Now I'm going to show you how these, how you can place these down. Or deal. Should be fairly simple. So, by default, they work like vanilla chests. You cannot put them down next to each other like that. 
lever um or lockers in lockers case um lockers can be placed down to where the handles on one side or the other um if you have a locker you cannot say place another locker of the same orientation on top however I always hate that about regular chests. The uh, hmm, okay, crafting table. If you craft, say, an improved chest, you get and just on its own in inventory, you get an alternate version or a locker. So now that I've turned these into alternate versions. I can place them down next to the other ones with no effort, and they will not connect, ever. So, yeah, this allows you to put these double chests in a very compact manner. Also, if you, say, wanted to put these down without uh, connecting at all, you could just alternate between the two. As so. Yeah. I like double chests, but yeah. Um, the next we're going to go ahead and talk about the upgrades. To get started with the upgrades, you make a basic upgrade, which is just a paper surrounded by cobblestone. Doesn't do anything on its own. Um, next we'll go into the tier upgrades. So, you put a basic upgrade surrounded by the material. Just grab an iron one and go over to these chests, one of these chests here, and you do have to click on a chest of the appropriate tier, so since I'm making an iron, I have to click on a stone. Yeah. Um, so, stone chests can be upgraded to iron. And if you're not in creative mode, it consumes it. Yeah. So now these are all iron chests as opposed to stone. Next, you have what I call a chest converter. You craft this with a basic upgrade and any improved chest. This does not work with lockers. Uh, this will though. I'll show you that in just a second. Um, so, yeah. This basically takes a vanilla chest. Um, let's just Real quickly, grab a bunch of stuff to put in it. There. And allows you to swap it out without picking up the chest. If you're not in creative mode, you get the chest back. Yeah. Um. And then, yeah, iron upgrades will work on lockers. Just the same as chests. Yeah. Okay, so next one up is the hopper upgrade. So, craft a hopper upgrade with a basic upgrade and four hoppers. So, how this works is, it works like a hopper. Uh, let's go ahead and grab, and eh, one stone. Best. And a stone locker. So, for chess, it works. Like a standard hopper. Kind of. Um, it does not pick up items that are dropped on top of it. However, 
Um, to apply this, you first hit shift right. You first shift right click on the chest. Lee, that should have worked. Um, hard to tell. Anyways, what it will do is it will take items from the chest above it and pass them to a chest below it. If I can manage to not derp, which would be, you know, great. Um, so if I put a stack of stand sandstone in there, it now ends up in this bottom chest. Yeah, simple. Yeah, with with a uh, locker, this works slightly differently. Uh, let's do it that way. Um, so with a locker, it passes from the side opposite of the handle to the side with the handle. A typically. So put sandstone in there. Actually apply the hopper upgrade, and sandstone ends up in here. Neat little way to have basically a larger hopper. And yeah. So that's the hopper upgrade. Then we have the redstone upgrade. Redstone upgrade upgrades the uh, chest or whatever to work much like a trap chest. By much like a trap chest, I mean exactly like a trap chest. And of course, they both have to be upgraded to connect. It does not currently work if you click on the wrong side though. So, yeah. I have to click on this side. Um, also works with lockers. Does not matter which way they're facing. Then we have sorting chests. If you have the mod Refine Relocation installed, your chest can be upgraded to sorting variants. Um, to upgrade to a sorting variant, you use the materials used to craft the chest and two gold ingots with the chest in the middle. One to grab, probably. Eh. Apparently I won't grab all of them. Um, so, just to show you this working, also, if you use a sorting upgrade, you can make this work with, you can make this upgrade chests in the world. So, let's go ahead and grab just some generic sorting chests. So, put that down. Also, real quickly, show you that this does indeed work as I said it would. So, this, as you can tell, is not a sorting chest. Um, the two cobblestone. Okay. Still need the stuff in creative. Hmm. Probably should fix that. Um, but yeah. So, yeah, upgraded to variant, it will keep its inventory. So, if I go shift click this, say ingots. Um, by the way, this will work with double chests. Just take my word for it. And this one all logs. Then come over here and grab. Spruce, some oak, birch, uh, iron, and gold. So, if I toss these in, they should all end up in the appropriate chest. Ingots ended up in this one, and bogs ended up in this one. Well, uh, that pretty well wraps up. 
this spotlight. So, hope you liked the mod. Hope you uh, kind of enjoyed this video, as derpy as it was. And I shall see you later.